them off underwear so you have to bring I'll say maybe about Hi K-pop besties, so for today I'm gonna answer one of your questions which you guys have asked on a community post which is actually what should you pack if you have to fly to Korea to be a K-pop trainee? So today I'm gonna show you what I would pack if I were to fly to Korea as a K-pop trainee. So I have an announcement so do stay till the end to find out what announcement is it. So there are two scenarios where you are flying over. So I'm gonna introduce the scenario first. And so the first scenario is when you are flying there, you're not really confirmed as a K-pop trainee yet but you are like a second or third audition where they want to meet you face to face so this is not conclusive that you are a K-pop trainee yet so what you have to do is actually um, just fly over there I think you'll only be there for like at most one week where you actually might have to find accommodation yourself okay, so this one is just like you know just a one week holiday I don't need to teach you how to actually go for a holiday right so the one that I'm gonna teach you today is actually more on that you are gonna go there as a K-pop trainee you're gonna go full-fledged into there I'm not trying to encourage you guys to like you know drop your studies but um, you can also go over there when you are on your school holidays if they really want to so you don't really need to teach your, your studies entirely but I'm just saying for those people that have no other uh, commitments they can just go there and start their training life like 24 7 this is what they will have to bring and I will emulate what I will actually bring if I were a K-pop trainee and I'm going to Korea like tomorrow so this is what I'll be bringing. I'm not gonna talk about those lame things that you guys already know like um, you need your visa, you need um, yourself and stuff like that so I'm just gonna move on to like what is more reasonable that you really have to bring. So first you need a luggage. Okay so I have an empty luggage here and I'm gonna fill it up um, as it goes and I don't know if you guys can actually see the whole luggage. Okay, so the first thing you need to know as a trainee is you need to go for training right so what's most important if you is that you need training clothing okay and as you know Korea there's four seasons so most of the training room they have air condition so you can either wear like half sleeve or you can wear like full sleeves so um, normally this is what I'll bring so I have a long sleeve like a neutral color kind of shirt and then I'll also wear my training pants so just some stretchable pants so yeah and a pair of training shoes so this is how I'll look like if I was in my training outfit so I'm gonna pack it in obviously one set is not enough you need a few sets I'll say two sets at least or make it three because you know you need some time to wash it yeah, so besides your training outfit, right, you need to have your casual outfit. So example of a casual outfit is something you'll wear out of your training time. So, so like short sleeve shirts as well so that you know, just resting and chilling at home, you can wear this. I would wear a shorts because um, I don't like to wear pants. I think shorts are more comfortable. You know, if you caught me at home or something like that, this is how I look. Oh yeah, I'll bring a pair of slippers because um, you might need to go to some grocery runs or whatsoever nearby so I think having a pair of slippers is very important. So the next thing you need right, is to meet people. You know, Sometimes you need to meet your friends or whatsoever on weekends or on public holidays. So what you need to do is actually a casual outfit. I think the most important thing is you need a pair of jeans because that's like the most basic. Okay, like when you go for casting or whatsoever, you need a good pair of jeans and then you you also need something casual so what I have as a casual outfit is some form of zipper shirt and then that has a little bit of a style so you can wear this to meet your friends or you can wear this to like go for casting so I think this is ideal you should have about two to three sets because you know you need to take time to wash it as well so I think that is what I would do so I'm gonna pack it in so this is how I would look like if I was on a casual day out Okay, so the next part which is the more important part is like flashier outfits so why do you need to have such flashy outfits so sometimes i don't know they might ask you to perform for like evaluations or sometimes you might need to do some street performance or like some you know ad hoc kind of performance i think you need some sort of shirt and pants that looks more flashy so i would definitely prepare a flashier kind of shirt so that is good for stage performances and then um, this is to really highlight the clothes and that I'm not that poor looking 
I don't know, like beggar, I look more like an idol. So this is important. So I will have it in two colors. I'll, I'll have it in black and white. Yeah, so I think this will be important. And this is how I'll look like if I were performing ad hoc. And the other version. Yeah, this is how I actually look like. So I'm pretty sure like, you know, going there you'll be kind of hungry so you need to bring some food so I'll bring some snacks over. I'll bring a month's supply worth of snacks over and I think that you guys should bring as well. So this is what I'll be bringing. So I'll bring some beverages as well because you know you might be like really hungry or really thirsty. So I'll bring like some coffee and I'm gonna bring some green tea. I think this will work very well. Then as usual, I'm gonna bring snacks because I think um, you need to have some cheat days, right? You know, you're gonna be training so hard that you don't have time to eat. I love strawberry wafers, so this is my favorite. So I'm gonna move on to like necessity, like daily necessities. So you might wanna buy a toothbrush there, okay? So uh, for me, I'm very particular about my face wash, so I'll bring my face. I'll bring my face wash because it's really important for me because I wear contact lens I definitely need to not wear contact lens all the time so I'm gonna bring my glasses I'm gonna put it in a case and then I'm gonna pack it in also I need some contact lens solution because you know um, I need to change out my contact lens case I can't be using the same solution time and time again and then um, I have this trinket of like you know Oh, earring, ear clip-ons because this is what I like to put on. I don't really have a ear hole, so this is what I do. So I need this to like show that I can look very different from time to time using different like ear thingies. So I'm gonna pack it in. Oh, obviously, you know, like you have to put on makeup as an idol or actually to upkeep your image. So you need to bring your own makeup bag. So this is what I'll be bringing uh, with my makeup removal wipes inside so that you can remove your makeup and you know maintain your skin, clear glossy skin. That's really important as a makeup idol. So I'll bring my own makeup set. It's all like the amount of underwear you have to bring. I'll say maybe about seven at least. So at least you can last for like 14 days if you flip it inside out. Like after one week, you'll definitely be able to wash it, right? So I think within that one week, you should be able to wash somehow. So there will be a laundry machine, I'm pretty sure. So yeah. So there might be some training clothes provided for you. There might be some hoodies, some shirts, some training pants, sometimes some shoes from certain sponsors. You might receive them as well. So this is what you'll be getting. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about how much cash you should actually bring. If I were going over, I would bring at least like maybe three to four thousand dollars if I have to live for the entire year and need to ration out very carefully you might not be receiving a lot using very little as allowance and normally not really enough to survive so you will actually need to bring some money over that's for sure because like you might want to buy some clothes because there's different seasons in Korea you cannot just live on this kind of clothes okay so uh, right if you don't know where to buy clothes i have a vlog on very cheap clothes in korea you should take a look there because i got really really cheap clothes and everything was about ten dollars let's take a look at how my luggage looks like right now i know it's a mess I almost forgotten the most important thing, skincare. So I'll definitely bring some skincare as well because the weather is very very dry in Korea. I'm not so sure but it's very humid in Singapore and it's very 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 dry compared to Singapore. So I'll def definitely put on lots of moisturizer and skincare after washing your face. I think that is very important. If not your face will break up. Mm -hmm. Lastly, I'll stock on a lot of masks because it's during the COVID situation. So this is something that you guys will definitely need. So this is my recommendation of things that you have to bring. This is just a very simple set. I'm a guy. You know, as a guy, I have very little um, choices. For girls, you, you all have to wear like dresses and it's very distinctive. So it's very hard to mix and match and wear the same thing over and over again. So it might be a little bit different, but this is my experience as a guy, like what I would pack if I had to leave for Korea tomorrow. Of course, the, the mundane things like charger and a portable charger, I'm not gonna talk about that. I'm just gonna talk about what you need to wear and what you should wear. So I don't know if you guys found this interesting whatsoever, but this was something that 
I have seen in the comment section a lot where you guys want me to actually talk about what you should pack yeah if you are of any religion and if you're scared of the supernatural get your uh, blessings from wherever before you leave and get some ornaments or some amulets so that you can have a peace of mind when you are alone at night okay so this is what I think I would pack and I hope that this has helped you guys especially if you're traveling or if you're not traveling as a trainee you are bound to buy lots of stuff and you're gonna go back home with a few more luggages so the announcement is that my June's judging audition badge is up so you may send your audition videos to johnstoncableaudition at hotmail.com and the cutoff date for the sending of the audition videos is on this Friday I'll probably make the video on the weekends and I'll up upload it next Monday or Thursday depending on how fast I edit it so any later than that I will not receive any of your so any later than that, I will not receive any of your Shh. So later than that, I will not receive any of your audition videos and I will not judge them Here's the lucky shoutout winner from the last video If you wanna increase the chance of getting a shoutout, do comment this emoji and you might see your comment in the next video So I hope you guys enjoyed this video If you have enjoyed this video, do give me a like and also comment down below what type of other videos I should do Also remember to subscribe to me and all the notification bell so you know when my next video will be uploaded Hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye. My food is out of my luggage.